Hi, this is Shalini Joshi Amdagni from MagicalPainFreeLiving.com and this video is in continuation with the Q&A video series that I'm doing to answer your questions about physical pain. And in this video, actually what happened was that a friend of mine who's been following some of these videos that I've been doing uh, asked me that, uh, Shalini, you know, you keep saying that uh, you need to pay attention uh, to uh, the message of pain and that the pain in one part of the body is different from the pain in the other part of the body and the shoulder pain has a different message than an ankle pain and a, and a back pain and so on and so forth and her question was that what about joints uh, because you know you have joints in so many areas of your body you have a hip joint you have ankle joint you have shoulder joint you have fingers joints, wrist joints. So what happens? Uh, what's the pain? What's the message in the joints? And I thought I'd create this video to answer that question because I'm sure some of you may have the same concerns. Um, so what I like to say is that, you know, when you have a pain in certain part of your body, first think about what's the role of that part of the body. Uh, in my previous videos, I did shoulder pain, you know, and shoulders is where you carry luggage, baggage, responsibility. Um, when I think of joints, first of all, I think of two bones joined together for a purpose, right? So when you think of joints, um, I think of movement. I think of, uh, you know, for example, I have this pen lying here in front of me and to get that pen, I need to use my elbow joint to stretch and, 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 and get it uh, to me. So I think joints help us uh, move freely, uh, help us take action, and joints also help us express ourselves. Like if I use hands to express myself, you know, I'm using finger joints, wrist joints, or if I wanted to stand up and dance, I would need a whole lot of joints so that my dance movement would be free flowing and not stiff and constricted. So when I think of joints um, or pain in joints, I'm thinking the opposite, right? So we think constriction, uh, disjointed thoughts, feelings, ideas, um, not being able to express uh, freely, being stiff and inflexible in movement or expression or in taking action, maybe, you know. Uh, so these are all the, the opposite of uh, when joints are in pain. And uh, so if you are experiencing pain in your joints, you know, you want to ask yourself where in my life, let's say in where in my life am I finding it hard to relax? What actions that I'm taking, maybe I'm, I'm being forced to take those actions and I'm feeling resentful and I'm feeling constriction and I'm feeling tensed or what actions do I want to take, but I'm feeling like I can't take them. So I'm feeling frustrated and resentful and angry and limited and constricted in taking that action. And so also with expression, uh, what do I want to say or express that I'm not being able to, maybe I'm being controlled by someone or something, some situation, and I'm not being able to express what I want to express freely. Or it could also be where am I myself being inflexible in my views, in my attitude, uh, in my expression, which is giving me all this um, stiffness and, and tension and lack of freedom and flexibility in my joints. So these are some of the areas you want to explore uh, around this theme of movement and action and flexibility and expression. And as you dig out really what's going on in your life or what's been going on in your life, 
where you felt like you're, you're, you're suppressing feelings and you're holding on to feelings. And what happens is when you hold on to feelings, even though it's subconscious, um, and you know your your body lets you know what you're holding on to subconsciously by making you conscious through this aches and pains in your joints so you know when when uh, when you store feelings they they get solidified and they crystallize inside making movement uh rigid and not flexible and in making your expression rigid and not flexible and stiff so you have to find a way to say, how can I release these feelings so that I can move forward freely uh, in my life? And a lot of people talk about positive thinking, and I think positive thinking is just fantastic, but sometimes it's just not enough to clear out stored, uh, crystallized feelings that are creating restrictions and uh, blocking you from moving forward freely. So uh, I hope this gave you a, a good glimpse of joint pain. And if you have any other questions about your particular pain, please feel free to even email me at shalini at eftthailand.com. And thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.